Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stoke. Good afternoon and welcome to Stoke, the home of the Potters. Not since Gordon Banks come from Leicester City to Stoke City, has there been so much action in this city. Uh, are you ready for Stoke? And right, for? Are you ready I'm for ready for Stoke, yeah. We've got a feature table that's going to be unbelievable today. Commentating with us is, uh, is Paul Zimbler, analyst and, uh, and poker player as well. It's going to be interesting for you to be sitting in the commentary box, seeing the cards, seeing how the guys actually play their hands. And, and, and basi basically, we can see the cards. You know what the guys should be doing, but sometimes it just doesn't happen like that, does it? Well, they should be doing what they want to do. But it's, it's in, it's, of course, it's interesting to see. It's interesting for the people at home to watch. And it's good to, for people to see different ways of doing things that we can talk about over the commentary. And, yeah, it's going to be fun. How can it not be fun working with Mad Martin? I was Wilson? just about to say, are you going to get a word in edgeways? You sat with the mad one for four days. <laughs> no, we've done it before. I'm sure we'll do it again. <laughs> Uh, Marty, just quickly run through the first feature table for the first two levels for the guys out there. Yeah, uh, first guy is in seat one, Ian Dibbit. Ian Dibbit. Yeah, he's a bus driver from Southport. He's been playing poker for 12 years and there's a few of them come up, so we, we wish him all the best. And uh, in seat two, Mark Physic, he's, uh, he's also from Southport and he's been playing for six years. And I think he come on the bus with the bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> Little, just a just a little story about Mark. Uh, he was playing. He was playing in a local comp in Blackpool about th three weeks ago, and this guy was rivering him left, right, and centre, and he actually knocked him out of the competition. And Mark Physic says, "If this guy cashes, I'm never playing poker again." The guy went off to finish third, <laughs> but Mark's come out of retirement because obviously he sat down there playing the GPS. C uh, three. C3 is David Jacobs, he's from Liverpool, he's been playing for about two years. Uh, I, I believe he lives in, in North Wales, you know, the real area, Prestatin area, and uh, he travels up to Liverpool. And uh, I'm interested to see your pronunciation of seat four. Oh, that's easy, that's Saeed uh, Talagati, he's a, he's a regular from Stoke, he's from Iran. He's been playing poker for 40 years. Well, you must you, you must uh, you must have bashed cards with me a few times, then. Eh? Yeah, no, I've seen Saeed before. That's how I knew his name so well. <laughs> and uh, we wish Saeed all the best. But in seat five, it's the boy from nowhere. It's David Brown, who's the local landlord from Bridge North, also known as David Diamond Brown. Yeah. Yeah, and, he, and it's his first time in a major tournament. And uh, Did he qualify? He, he, we did a satellite at his pub, and I think he won it from about six quid. Wow. So we wish him all the best today, David Brown. And you seem to know this guy in seat six. In seat six, yeah, Kenny Billups. He's, uh, he's from Rotherham. He plays in Sheffield on a regular basis. Travels up and down the country playing the tours as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see Kenny. Uh, he, he plays in a couple of uh, a couple of Genting clubs. Uh, he will be looking forward to when the uh, the brand new Genting club opens in Sheffield because I know he plays around the scene around, around South Yorkshire. He's been on a few, He's called Top Ten. His nickname is Top Ten because you do regularly see him on a final table in his local club. Whether he can do it in Stoke for Lake Ford, I'm not too sure, but uh, good luck to Ken. In seat seven, we've got uh, Richard Swatton. Uh, he's a regular at the Fox in London, oh, right, you yeah. know, where uh, Albert... Albert Sapiano. Yeah, where he <laughs> plays, yeah. And, uh, I mean, they're getting some big numbers at that Fox club in London. In Stratford, is it Shaftesbury Avenue? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and... Uh, we yes. wish Richard all the best. And last but not least, we've got a local lad, Stephen Spencer. Uh, he's from Natwich, which is just down the road. Okay. And I think he supports Stoke City Football Club. Mm, there'll, there'll be one or two other, one or two other potters in, uh, in this week, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, looking forward to the feature table, the first couple of hours. It's going to be interesting. As a poker player yourself, you, we, we've got 25,000 chips, a blind to 25,50. How do you approach a game like this? It all comes down to your table draw and what kind of person you are. I, I generally would play more aggressive at the start because a lot more people play tighter at the start. So mm. then if they start playing back, you, you can get away. But you can just start chipping up, you know, with a little risk. But uh, a lot of people generally sit and wait. So the first two levels are always interesting. Mm. So uh, we'll see. A couple of, couple of people I know on the tour, uh, I like to see uh, in the early stages. Uh, Nick Perso, he plays as many pots as possible. Is that is that something you'd advise? Small pot poker in the first couple of levels with the blinds being solo? I wouldn't advise it to people if they were asking me what, what should I do because a lot of people won't understand how to take the pots down because they play their cards but players like Nick um, and I play a lot of pots in the first few levels because you can chip up but if, if you're not confident and you're not aggressive then just you know you're going to wait for your cards and and a lot of people play very cautious they'll have like ace ten suited and they'll be calling stations in the first couple of levels because they don't want to create big pots which also uh, is, it's always interesting to watch. What advice would you give to guys that have 
qualifying for 20 quid the first time in a casino, the first time sat down, and 100,000 guarantee. We know it's already been smashed uh, over 300, well, 308 before we actually came in today, so it's already been smashed. These guys have qualified for 20 pounds. What, what advice would you give? I get a lot of people emailing me and asking me for advice. It's my first big comp. I've qualified online. What can you, what can you tell me? And I tell them the same thing. Just enjoy it. Have a great day. Just enjoy every minute of it. Yeah. Well, there you go. Like, great advice from Paul. Paul is going into the uh, in, uh, off very shortly into the commentary box. Have a great day with Marty. I will uh, indeed. We'll, 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 I'm even going to be listening myself, and it should be, should be very interesting analysing these guys because you can see the whole cards, and it's just going to make a great day of poker. Enjoy the commentary. Thank you very much. There you go, Paul Zimba. Uh, Mister, as Paul goes off, you you've got stories galore. You can you can t you can tell Paul plenty of stories. What? Just give me one insight on the Genting Club in Stoke and just something that you've done here. Just give me something about you playing in this in this club. Oh, I've been coming over Stoke for, oh, God, must be 10, 15 years. And, uh, well, last night, they actually had a tournament across the road. I don't know. Oh, OK, yeah, go yeah, on, go yeah, on, then. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how did we do? Uh, I finished second. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself £180. You know what I mean? He, he, he keep me going for a couple of days, and uh, I run my kings into Jack Five. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. So just goes to show. But uh, Stoke's really buzzing with, with with poker players. I mean, I've been coming here for years, and and there's there's people like um, Ken who I know, uh, and uh, Terry Alcock. Mm. You know, and, and of course we've had a couple of bracelet winners from Stoke as well. Really? Yeah, Stephen Rydell. All oh, right. Yes, I remember. Yeah, I had another name. Right, uh, and and uh, oh, the other guy I'm thinking of, Paul Maxfield. Right. He finished second in the in the uh, right. s seven diamonds, I think he was, and he got over a million dollars. And then he retired from the game. Really? Yeah. Good old Paul Maxfield. Yeah, he went to become a a, a man of leisure, mm -hmm. playing golf, and, uh, and just and he and he just said, "That's it. I've I've, I've got my goal. I've got a million dollars, and uh, and I'm walking out of here." Yeah. And he's w walking in today. We see the Hendon mob. Oh, we yeah. see the likes of Paul Jackson, we see the likes of Richard Hale, Mike Hill, all regulars on nearly all tours we see, and now a lot of these go abroad to the EPCs and stuff like that. What does it mean to the local guys seeing these guys walk through the door? Well, what is actually happening is we're not just attracting the butcher and the biker and the candlestick maker, we're attracting some of the world's best poker players. There's no dispute in the fact that on their day, the Hendon mob can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe yeah, yeah. with anybody. Same as Paul Jackson, yeah. same as Carl Marinhutz, you know what I mean? And you can look round here, and, uh, and, uh, and I believe Aikenhead's playing. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've heard uh, so. uh, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a couple of other people uh, from the hit squad playing. I mean, these people can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the world, and they're coming here and playing in Stoke. And with a chance of winning 50 grand, up the yeah. way it's looking, yeah, we've already already smashed the guarantee over 308. When we when we walk through the door at midday, that's yeah. that's without you need registrations today. Yeah. It's just going to be massive this week. Yeah, I, I'm I'm looking at about 500, uh, which which is what 200,000. Yeah. Yeah, and we can do it in, in a place like Stoke as well, but it's so handy for everybody to get here. Yes, it is. You know, with the motorways, you know, it, it, it's not a hard place to get to Stoke. So no. there's no excuses. Losers, they make excuses. <laughs> so if you want to listen, you've got nine levels today mm -hmm. yeah. to register. You, you can jump in your car if you're 100 miles away and be here within an hour yeah. and a half, two hours. Yeah, one thing you don't want to do is turn up tomorrow and it be full and, and, and miss out on the yeah. opportunity of such a fantastic payday. Well, what, what I, I am anticipating is that it will be full tomorrow. By the, by the way, we're going to have every one of these tables. Yeah. So if you're out there today and you're within 100 miles, jump in your car, get your £430, <laughs> invested in this Genting tournament. Absolutely. Uh, a couple of things of note uh, to talk about online, while you're, I'm sure you're going to be talking about it all day. Uh, the, w w 8, 8 p.m. tonight, you've got uh, three seats guaranteed. Last chance saloon of buying it, getting in here for tomorrow. Uh, Twenty pound buying, ten pound rebuys with a ten pound on. And if you fancy, it's a last chance saloon. It's on agentingpoker.com. A little bit later tonight, it's on 8 p.m. And I'm sure this guy and Paul will be mentioning it in the commentary box all day long. But it is your last chance saloon online to to get yourself a seat. Three seats guaranteed. Twenty pound buying, ten pound rebuy, and a ten pound add-on. And that starts at 8 p.m. tonight. But this guy's got a free roll to mention as well. Yeah, we've got uh, a free roll. We've got four free rolls. How good was Edinburgh for the free rolls? Oh, Edinburgh was so excited. We, we didn't think we'd top the 100. No. Then we flew past it. And we got nearly 150, didn't we? did we? indeed, yeah. 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 
And, uh, and, and it's, what we're going to do, you open an account today, we've put a fiver on for you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, to and, the, and the difference with that is that it's not $5 now, it's, it's five, five pounds, which gives you more value. Yeah, yeah, of course it does. Mm -hmm. And uh, are we going to have a lot of fun? Yeah, we're going to have a lot of, we've got some quizzes to come up. Yeah. You, you know, we've got questions, we've got dreams to dream, we've got songs to sing, we're going to put our nose to the grindstone and our shoulder to the wheel, and we're going to work for our daily dollar. <laughs> if you enjoyed the coverage in Edinburgh, with me and this guy. We've now got Paul Zimbler on the team as well. It is going to be a fantastic weekend. And like Marty says, it's all about having fun. Now, we know there's a lot of money to be played for. And there is going to be somebody walking away out of this casino with £50,000 in excess of. But it is all about having a little bit of fun. And if this guy can't make you smile over the next four days, then there's something wrong. Uh, we're going to go we're going to the tables very, very shortly. The, the game will begin very shortly. He's run through the table. It should be an interesting feature table. Uh, I don't know what the action, uh, as, as I was speaking to Paul, will the action be fast and furious? We, we, we all know we're starting with something like 500 big blinds, 25,000 starting stack, starting at 25.50. How, how do you pr approach the early levels? Uh, yeah, it's It's... What I like to do is I like to assess the table. Mm. I like to feel the people that are at the table. I like to get their body heat. You know what I mean? I want to see them tremble when I re-raise them. So, look, I, I try and assess every player at the table. You know, and, and I'm not a person that takes off at 100 miles an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like Bradley w Wiggins. Start off slow and then come through bursting at the end. Hey. It is during the Olympics and we have got plenty of things going on in the Olympics. Will poker ever be part of it? I don't think so, but you never know. We can dream, I suppose, can't we? But uh, if, if there was a gold medal, whoever wins it this weekend will certainly deserve a gold medal for wading through over 350, 400. As Marty says, we might even get to 500 runners, which would be an amazing feat. Uh, probably not get to the heights of fo the Fox Club, but wow, how good would it be to see 500 people playing in Stoke? Uh, we're just, we are just about to start. It uh, should be interesting. Uh, can I just remind you, if you've got a friend out there or a, or a player that you're following, get a, get a, let us know. We'll track him down. We'll tell you how many chips we've got. We'll get things in perspective. We'll spread the news and we'll help this poker world go round. And that's what it's all about with him in the commentary booth as well. You write in the chat box and we've got runners that will get to the action and we'll get the chip counts for you. Uh, we'll do it all day and we'll do it for the next four days. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be intriguing and we will eventually find a leg four winner of the GPS. Uh, we've, all, we've also got Twitter. Yeah, yeah. You're on Twitter. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Mad Marty Wilson. If you want to tweet me, we're going to have some quiz questions. And I'm only going to give you 60 to 70 seconds to act. Because I don't want you guys out there going on Wikipedia and getting the answer. <laughs> right? So we, we're going to cap it at probably 60 or 70 seconds. Mm. And, uh, and we have got some good... And we've got plenty of prizes. We've had the Hendon Mob donate prizes. We've got different things. And uh, I'll tell you what I have got. I'll tell you what I have got. I have got five unique George Best DVDs. Greatest George yeah, Best man. moments. Right? Yeah. And I've also got three of the greatest gambling books ever. 40 of the hottest gambling stories ever, yeah. including how they broke the Bank of Monte Carlo. Really? Yeah, and these prizes are going to be up for grabs. We don't give you rubbish here at Genshin. <laughs> we give you world-class prizes. Hashtag GP series if you want to tweet us. Just get it on. This guy's going to be reading the Twitter all day long. Hashtag GP series is where you want to be uh, following us on Twitter. But it is going to be an interesting, it's going to be an extraordinary weekend. It really is. Looking forward to it. And don't forget, on the Sunday, it's the £150 anniversary cup that's here with £6,000 added by the club. It's just phenomenal. Genting Club in Stoke. He's got his name on it, on the map. He's been voted the second best card room in the country. Two years running. The guys and gals are already over there waiting with Katie at the helm and Val Dorn as, uh, as casino manager. She's hands-on as well. She loves the poker. But Katie's running it along with, 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 with all the team. We've got Raf. We've got Kevin, we've got Colin, it's all in place. Looking forward to an absolutely stupendous next four days. Marty Wilson, 